much that now. All right, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Ranting Gamers. Um, today is CES, pretty much CES day because throughout this week at Consumer Electronic uh, shows been going on. Uh, for fans that don't know what that is, pretty much all new technology, phones, TVs, uh, electronics, watches, anything gadgetry normally pops up at CES. It's like the E3 of of uh, Electronics. electronics it really is it's a great it's a great yep. show if you guys don't know um check it out it's definitely out there there's a lot of cool things out um and that's mostly what this is uh this episode is about but not to the full extension so definitely sit back enjoy and thanks for watching episode three all right so uh first we're gonna go through the cast uh start off with diego hey everybody how y'all doing <laughs> <laughs> we have trevor Hey, what's up? Uh, Tehran. Hey, guys, what's going on? PB Solo Bear here. And Chad. Thanks for saving me for last, but what's up, everybody? I go by what's on my <laughs> As side. always. Because <laughs> technically, technically, Chad's not last. Thank you guys for viewing. I'm your host. I'm Alex. And, yeah, welcome to episode three again. So the first topic we're going to go on, you, each of you guys' favorite items to CES 2013? I'm going first. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a great event. Um, so there's a lot of good uh, technology out there. So, uh, Chad, take it away. I have to talk about this 4K television. Can you? Can we get a link? Can the stream get a link? It is ridiculous. Too. I don't know. Um, Panasonic and a lot of other companies have made a 4K television. So we're oh, talking a resolution work. of 3840 by 2160. That is oh. insane. There is no media content that even can take control just, of that edit. just so you guys know this topic is so hot if you put in four with the letter k you get 76 million results all of them relating to televisions yes that that is how hot this topic is right now on google i want to get a picture so i'm going to be and doing then, that alex they also have this new um i think they're calling it a panoramic television where it has this slight curve the tv uh has like a slight curve to it so it gives you that wraparound uh feel to the television uh -huh. Um, I saw that at CES. The um, TV, I think, was Panasonic. It was encased in metal bars. Um, had it on stage. But they're, it's looking pretty ridiculous. And, you know, right now the prices are off the charts for them. Of yeah, course. It's like 10 grand for 10 like 50 grand. inch. Yep. Now, I have a question. For the for the, uh, the 4K TV, <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not really that as techy as I would like to be. But, the, but the, it, that was the resolution you were talking about? The, the – uh, Chad? With the, yes, the forty. Uh, yes, yes, yes. How, would, would would our eyes even be able to like? Are our yeah. eyes even able to 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 like tell the difference between 1080p? And oh yes, whatever? yes. Um, I think the number is um, if we talk in terms of camera, the human eye is able to see in a resolution of 536 megapixels. It's around that, it's about 530. Man, if they can make it, they're gonna make it. Doesn't matter what the human. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I, I know. I was just, I was just curious, you know. The but yeah, you'll, you'll, you will. I would have to say that if content that they produce can take advantage of this new technology, then it's gonna look pretty ridiculous. Man, well, this, the, if they uh, can build it, they're gonna make it. And everybody who has epileptic seizures, get ready to get uh, stunner shades because you guys wanna <laughs> die. <laughs> they, have, die. they always have warnings, but the thing is, because you know how uh, when Blu-ray first came out, you know everyone was like, "Oh, uh, they don't." A lot of people couldn't even really tell the difference, even though there is a an obvious difference. They didn't want to um, pay for something they wasn't they weren't really sure of yet, especially since it took its own, you know, format of CDs, the Blu-ray, which was more expensive at the time. One of the reasons why the PS3 was so expensive. But like, would do you think people will be ready to buy this as soon as it comes out? Like a lot of people. I'm not talking about just. The... No, of course not. Of course not. No, no way. A I'm lot sorry, of the like... CES isn't ready. A lot of items, you said, Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they have prototypes. They have stuff that's like years from coming out to consumers. Okay. Okay. So like this stuff is going to be the high end. It's like the the HD TVs before HD TVs were common. Yeah. Okay. I agree, I agree with you saying. So. <clears throat> Um, oh no, you can continue. I, that's that's you guys answered my question. I was just curious. So, <laughs> all right, um, Trevor, what did you what did you see anything in CS that you uh, know caught your attention? It was 
it was almost the new iPhone chip, but the thing that I found the most fascinating coming out of CES was the plastic Logitech paper tab. Damn you. That was mine. Yeah, mad. yeah. Damn it. Oh, I want to see picture. That is ridiculous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what you is it? Know, it is it is basically it is a tablet that looks and feels like a piece of it's paper. paper. What? What? Uh, what's the call? What to Google it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never, so, I never heard about it. The way that they were talking about it is that um, unlike conventional tablets where you have apps and you would open up the app on what they say like one page, you would open up multiple apps on different pages. So I'm not sure what that means, but it seems like it would be like a book and you would... Like, Every time you flip, flip it, it, like it'll... Flip the page for the app and then if you want to be in the other app, you just flip it back. But it, it's like they show it like bending. It's a tablet and it's thinner than... Any tablet I've seen. Oh wow! Shit. Uh, it's that definitely, is, definitely. Yeah, prototypes right technology. now, but they're expecting to come out within like a couple of years. That's that's sick. And it's crazy that flex technology. Um, Samsung. Uh, a lot of phone companies were, you know, trying to develop it. I saw a lot of Samsung stuff about it, and that's what caught my attention to it. And when I saw that happen, there was also another thing that's going to probably that's going to be my second item because because I was also looking at that, but. This paper thin electronic technology is definitely something that they are pushing for because not just one or two companies are doing it. A lot of companies are doing it now, um, with a lot of their systems, which is really, I think, is really cool. Um, I I uh, I feel as though with that uh that that device, <clears throat> a lot of people were saying that they they like to have the physical copy of uh, of like books um and like any 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 story books or anything that they have any literature. Uh, and it would seem kind of gimmicky to like promote it in the way that oh you can flip pages and you know a lot of people will just be like oh you know I'm not really interested. However, um, I totally did not see something like that coming. Um, and it is something that could be really cool for people who don't like to touch because a lot of people don't like to touch screen where you just you know move your finger up and down. They they don't they don't like it. They just they just feel as though it's. People, a lot of people are really, very really emotional with the with the whole uh, the whole um, not having an actual piece of paper to read. They would they would actually prefer the newspaper, despite that you can get the news online. So that that uh it's still a touch screen too. Yeah. That's the crazy part. Yeah, it's still touch screen. You can still touch it. It's... Yeah, that is that's very sick. It's but, um, 3D. I, <laughs> I don't I don't even care. I've been on the damn commute to New York in New Jersey like for the last two months and everybody in there is on a smartphone and and or on a goddamn uh, tablet of some I, I, sort. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and don't get me wrong, I do still see people with newspapers, but I definitely see people with newspapers being like over their 40s. Yeah, exactly, and, exactly. And, this, would, so, this, would, this would attract the, the people, the older people, like, say, I, I, I want my parents, I, or, you, you know, uh, the parents, the people who, who grew up with the, with the newspapers. And because that, this new technology, right. yeah, everybody is going digital. Um, I can't say everybody, but for the most part, I see a lot of people going digital. In, in our lifetime, yo, there was the type, well, in, in a generation, there was the type writer. We go from the type writer to the what is it called again? This thing, this this uh, uh a paper tablet tab. to the paper tablet. In 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 how many years was this? Sixty years, maybe fifty <laughs> years. That Dude. is that is madness. <laughs> Imagine even two generations taking a messenger down a pit in Sparta <laughs> is madness. <laughs> that, that's it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> Can you imagine even typing on a typewriter? If you mess up. Yeah, there, there was no whiteout. There was no whiteout back in the day. There was no There was no backspace. There was nothing. Yeah, I was pro God Beastle when it came oh, to typewriting in Resident Lord. Evil. Yeah. Well, the typewriter, man. My, yeah. my saves are like on point. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. And I, and I like we we all like to say like, oh well, oh, man, we're so into technology, we're never gonna fall off the track, man. We're, anytime something else comes out, we're gonna be right on it. It won't be too crazy for us. But like, I'm starting to like think. That I might be left in the dust, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true story. Teron didn't even know what CES was. I yo listen. Yeah, I'll scrub moment. I didn't know what CES was. Like I said, uh, the hardware, all the hardware tech stuff, I wasn't really into. I was into like software and and, and stuff like that. And that's what I'm. That's what I really like. I do like the hardware, but I don't, I'm not like a. I'm not like too. Yeah, I got you. Smart when it gets to the hardware. CES stuff. is the future. Yeah. Now I don't. There. It's I just got a rude awakening. <laughs> 
But um, if, if nobody else talks about it, I'll talk about the the new iPhone chip after. Okay, that's cool. Another thing, I, another thing I wanted to talk about. I don't know if I, I didn't see it at the C, at CES, but there was a, a while back. They were not a while back, but they wanted to do the um, Google wanted to do the shades with the with the uh that that can. What was it? How does it work, Alex? You're laughing because you know you know what I'm talking about. They, they have the shades. That you, yeah, it was it was Ghost Recon all over on your face. Yeah, so um, you had that whole HUD on your face. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was yeah. it was cool, but I, I doubt we'll get there so soon. Yo, listen, I'm telling you though, if there was one device, one device, especially some of the people who like to commute, they commute, they walk to the to their to their job or take the train and stuff like that. Man, have you guys ever played Heavy Rain? Yep. Nope. Uh, oh man, there's one character. One character uses a. I'm about to say uses uses a. Uses a uh, he uses a device. Like the, the shades that, and you, you can like do like play little little mini games and do all types of stuff that the those glasses were doing. So, and mind you, much, I would buy that. Mind thing. you, weren't those glasses killing him also? It does kill you. Yes. Okay. So um, I like that. I, I, so I stunner like shades with with all the gooey on it. I pass. I don't want to die that way. <laughs> I like I like how they added that. Like you know, saying like don't get too caught up into the you know the the tech. It was kind of like a um subliminal message, I guess you could say. Yeah. Kind of message in there. But in any case, that was like the really really cool thing. Um, that I thought was like mad interesting. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say. You, what was what was going on with the with that uh the chip you said for the iPhone? I'll, I'll let I'll let Diego and Alex oh, say their okay, favorite thing from. Okay. Yeah, there. there's a few things I saw. Um, so yeah, the few things that I saw uh, that were really cool were uh, Steam having their own like console, uh, yes. console thing, the Steam Box. Yes, and yeah, Microsoft's right. Illuma, uh, what was it? Illumi Room. Illumi Room, yep. Yeah, Illumi that weird room. stuff. Yeah. What's no, called what Illumi Room? Illumi Room is like uh, it projects the screen beyond the TV. Like I don't know, it's like, kind of hard. To, it's hard to describe, but it's like uh, how you use a regular projector to uh, to connect to your console. It's more like connects to the Xbox, and it just extends the TV. Oh, I get what you're saying. So you can, yeah. okay, I I got you. So it kind of like pretty awesome. It looks really awesome. It looks awesome, but I don't know. It's just it, it feels like it's kind of pointless to have. Like it's just only the ultra rich would buy. It's like I guess sure. that's the next step to holograms. Like to, to have that just project out for you yeah. to see. It. Yeah. So yeah, it looks cool, but I don't know. I wouldn't get it. It's I don't know. But the steam box, the steam box, it was interesting and. Um, yeah. There was like a few, like one that was called the Piston, and there's a few from another company, and these are like small as hell, and I'm like, I can't wait to it for for Steam uh, for Valve to come out with their own. Well, don't oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which is well, um, really difficult for them. One thing I like to say to everyone who's watching, everyone who's watching who who loves Steam, and we 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 always every episode we do of the of the Renting Gamers, we end up talking about Steam, about how the deals are going on. Listen, there will be deals. The deals are so good on Steam that regular days would just seem like deals, and then the sales just look like giveaways. And and a lot of people love Steam that that watch and follow uh, Ranting Gamers. I would say to definitely pick up this, this device. Um, basically, you don't have to be you know bound to your tower or your or let's like say desktop or your your laptop. You can walk around your household and play Steam games on this device. And it's something. It's same. It's, it's did they did they announce a uh, price yet? Not, yeah, no. Like they're still like prototyping like, everything. Yeah. They just like oh, okay, yeah, okay. a few prototype machines. That is sick. And if they ever, if they ever make that a portable device where I can actually leave my house and use it, oh man, I will be oh. a Steam, I will be a Steam uh, There's user. There's no that. the control scheme. You wouldn't. It would be deadly. No, with a control <laughs> scheme for what? For if any Steam game, you go from you can't go portable with WASD. I need yeah. my macros. I need my my. One, well, two, three, well I mean, well, well, on Steam you can get like Deus Ex and stuff like that on Steam, and people use their their PS3 controllers. So, I'd imagine like say a Vita, Vita, the buttons on the Vita will be able to to play stuff like that. I mean, I don't see why it would be, wouldn't be too difficult. And you button map it yourself, don't you? Don't, don't you? Yeah. 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 So, I don't That's see why really that would. Exciting. Yeah, I don't see how that would be a problem, especially if it's like an indie game, um, Steam game. So. All right. All right. Um. I guess my big thing was Samsung also came out with their paper technology uh, cell phones for CS, so that's going to be the next paper week. cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> so and when I first saw it, it was um, when I was a kid. I, you guys remember those little wristbands you could slap on your wrist and then it'll be right there? 
It'll just yeah. wrap around. I'm thinking like I want to do that with my phone. So I have a paper thin phone that I can slap on my wrist, and then I, if I want to make a call, I'll just be talking to my hand the whole time, like uh, like Colin Farrell and um. I was about to say that. Recall. That was inside his hand though. That, oh. but, I mean, but still. That was <laughs> but the still technology high. of like the paper thin phones and uh, everything that's going on is I I know I feel I feel it's a new wave of um shit that's gonna kill us in 20 years. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I um, and I love it because we're gonna get so many paper cuts. You know, I I think <laughs> I think a robot is gonna come up to me while I'm eating and saying, "Hey, you're eating this wrong," and then grab my face and kill me, and then turn sideways and disappear. Yeah, like do something. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> I'm trying to figure it. It's so crazy. Like, you're you're not efficiently eating your food. Here, let me show you. What? No. Dish dish dish. And then I'm doing <laughs> so, but no, I'm really liking um. Everybody's ran. The TV idea I hate, but just like the paper thin technology going. I didn't really feel for a tablet, but I want to be the cool kid with. Like now, uh, I know I'm not. I'm, th- I'm not thinking like exact paper thin here, but like I know it's gonna eventually get to that point. But can you imagine using like a paper thin phone and then like you're talking and you have like a hoodie on, and then like it drops your phone. You drop your phone because people drop their phone nowadays. They even drop it in toilets. I don't even know how that happens. But in any case, you you you're talking and you drop your phone and then like it's paper thin, so it it won't even make a sound if it hits the ground. And then you're just like, yeah, where'd my phone go? And you don't see it on the ground and you're panicking. And then it's like in your hoodie because yeah. it slipped. <laughs> it slipped in between your skin and the crack of your clothes. And then you're just like. You know, panic all around. And, and paid like eight hundred dollars, eight thousand dollars for this. That phone. being said, <laughs> Samsung says that this phone is unbreakable. Um, so, oh, so you no know, otter boxes needed. So <laughs> that's that. That's another uh, thing. We'll see. Yeah, it probably won't come out for another like five years. Yeah, I'm calling three, three at max. Well, listen. Right now, I'm just worrying about the droid. I'm pretty sure that they're all gonna jump on the bandwagon, and it's just gonna be that's gonna be the norm. Like that, how how the uh. How the the razor? Remember the razor flip phones? Oh my gosh! Everyone had one. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and now they laugh at you when you have a razor. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the norm. The, the the paper thin is gonna be like a genre, like a type of phone. The paper thin. Yep. I'll, I'll still stick with the uh, regular smartphone. I don't know about the paper thin phone. Paper yeah, thin phone's gonna make your smartphone look like a dumb phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The way the way the the smartphones came out, I'm gonna stick my razor. Exactly, <laughs> and then, and then now now when you have a razor, people laugh at you. If you don't even have an, a a smartphone, people are just like, oh my gosh, like you need to upgrade. You you have a fossil, you have a stone to sit in there. And then now now the iPhone five and then the 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 Note two, I love the Note, the Note two, Note three, the S four, all that is gonna be like, ew, you have an S four? Oh my gosh, this thing that's is like ancient, man. You're a caveman. What the hell is it? <laughs> what, what did you hook that up to your T Rex or something? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, yo, seriously. Um, but who bought you that phone? Do you pay your own bills? Oh, uh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Being personal about it. You feeling some yeah, type of way? Yeah, you I ta- do. Yeah, I do. Talking about that brick you you be carrying? Man, I don't have a brick. <laughs> I, I have an iPhone. Look, and I have an iPhone 4, and people are just like, oh, my God, you got an iPhone 4. You need to upgrade. Like, yeah, get out of my face, man. <laughs> get out of my face, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. <laughs> Deep said he ran to a lady with a Blackberry. Man, she got that Blackberry for business, Steve. You better respect that. <laughs> Blackberries aren't even sufficient for business anymore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Cool. So that's our CES talk. What did you – I mean, in the comments in the uh, post, guys, like post up what you found in CES that you guys really liked, um, and we can definitely hit on topics later in the, uh, later in the stream. But uh, going to the next topic – uh, two games that you know brought that are sh- I don't know kind of controversial. Everybody's been talking about it. Uh, the first one definitely, um, Pokemon, the new Pokemon coming out. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> yep. I, 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 I I'm shocked preview. you came out so soon. Yeah, that's one of the things I want to talk about. Uh, do you guys feel that it's too early for this game to come out, and that they didn't even take their time to de- like truly develop develop that 3D? Uh, portion of the game and the fighting system. How do you guys feel about it? Well, I don't know, because, like, I was really disappointed with Black and White a bit, so I'm not even, like, the that excited for anyone. The series, series all together? Whole, no, not as a, as all together, just Black and White. I just, like, I didn't really enjoy it that much, but, like, for X and Y, I thought it was, like, a little bit too early, because, like, we just got 
uh, Black and White 2 last fall, and the new games are coming out like, this upcoming fall 2013. So I think it's a little fast, but since they're going 3D, it doesn't really matter. So I'll, I'll probably get it on day one to see if it's like any good or they screw anything up. But no, you'll, you'll get it on day one because you're a fanboy. Yeah, that too. The, oh, do you really like Pokemon? Indeed. Okay. No, no like, not that uh, characters here. Oh, but okay, okay. Black um, and white. the same oh, core oh, gameplay. What I was gonna oh. say was that I, I um. This is uh, I I saw the, the the gameplay and and the the world looks amazing. You run around. I'm just like yo, this is <laughs> one step closer to what I want a Pokemon game to be. But I feel as though it's not something I would buy. I feel as though this is not the game that I am looking for. It's 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 going in the right direction. Um, the battle system is still like something that I I might not be too uh, interested in. Wait your turn and then you can attack. <laughs> yeah, and I, I want I want something like I'm not gonna bring up the game again. I bring it up every every week. Um, I want it I want it to be more more action based where you can. There's a Pokemon game where you can run around and do all stuff all types of stuff with Pokemon and like you you know dodge roll and all that. I want it to be like how the cartoon is. Pokemon Snap. And it. <laughs> I just want to take pictures. <laughs> and, to take pictures. Yo, that mute was hard to take a picture of, man. But anyway, um, I. I think, like I said, the world the world looks fantastic, but but the the gameplay itself is still not where I'd want it to be. And this is somebody coming from the original Red with no color. That is the only Pokemon game that I've played, or the the actual uh, handheld you know RPG version. So I, uh, I won't be check? getting it. I still think the 3DS is a huge gimmick. Let's throw 3D on our handheld console and sell it. And then let's make an extra large version months later and sell it again. I smell gimmick. And they, and people eat it up, man. It's crazy. Chad, oh, you, Chad, this guy. you fall into gimmicks. You used to be an iPhone fan. Oh, yeah. iPhone. Yeah, on, so I had the 3GS and the 4, like the ones iPhone where they were actually anything. innovating. They were innovating back then. Now Apple's not. So listen to this, guys. This is just in on my Google Plus account. A report indicates that PS3 has the surpassed 360's worldwide ship total for the first time. Yeah, so what? Uh, yeah, because they shipped it to a dump. They shipped it to the E.T. dump, bro. Everybody <laughs> knows this. All them, all them yellows, all them yellow uh, light. Yellow light, yellow, PS, yellow light uh, PS3. PS3 slowly got pushed into that crater. We call that E.T. dump. Yeah, they got shipped, all right. They got... <laughs> Yo, man, we got some haters over here, man. I'm not even gonna them fighting words, but I'm not gonna. Well, I'm sorry. if right. you're shipping, that means they're selling, so you can't argue no, with that. No, that means they're shipping. That means they're shipping. Yeah. No. No, that it... literally means they are shipping. Yeah, but, that, but you're, you're reading on. too far into it. The demand for them means that they need them in. It doesn't mean they're selling them. That means a lot of people who said, you know what, we don't have PS3s in stock. We need to order PS3s. So yeah, but Alex, why don't, have, so why don't they have PS3s in stock? It's because they've been getting sold. They've been getting sold. Now wait, hold yeah, on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Or the or or the stock just has not. They have no reason to you know, invest their stock into it. Hold yeah. up. I've been I've been watching the sales because because my favorite website that I I, I check because you know favorite website Gamatsu that I check for the news. Devon is the one who showed me this, just in case he's watching. He wants the credit. Uh, I've been watching the sales of all of, of the of these systems and PS3. I don't know that is small. Japan is a small small little country over there compared to the United States, but somehow they are selling a lot. Like they show the numbers, and it's like like thirty thousand, fifty thousand. This is weekly. Like every week, like it just keeps selling. Like I I, I don't know why, but PS3 is destroy demolishing. Um, sales in in Japan like like it just came out. I, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I guess people are a lot of people are yellow lighting over there, and they need to buy more. But it's it's actually selling a lot though. Either that, but there's still that whole gaming market that the U.S. does not have that Japan does. Yeah, um, it, exactly. that's just a fact. Yeah, you're right. So comparing comparing Japan shipping sales to America sales is always going to be a loss for the fact that Japan will always start selling more games. Um, oh, that, yeah. are, that are more fan specific than the US uh, will. Oh, definitely. I but, mean, but it but sells I, nonetheless, though. I do understand what you're saying, Chad. If they're shipping, that means that somebody's buying. Mm. But we will definitely see 
if they're talking about America or they're just talking about just shipping. I think it doesn't even matter though, as long as it's shipping and being sold anywhere, it's being sold, right? All right. Yeah, that's true. All right. Yeah, I mean, like we can, we can, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the Xbox is, is still like above in America. I'm pretty, I'm, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, because, because like the DS, come on now, the 3DS, does it really sell that much in America? Does it really? Or is it Japan that's just that's just going crazy over there with the DS? So like, you know, like 3DS, I got, uh, for example, 3DS, I have Street Fighter Four. And they 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 were talking about how um <clears throat> well yeah you can walk you can you can you can walk and meet somebody on the street and then you guys can just fight it out in America like really who has Super Street Fighter on the 3DS or the DS or yeah 3DS in in Japan everybody uses the train so you're on a train and then all of a sudden fight you hear fight and then you you turn on your 3DS oh. somebody in the corner the guy in the creep in the corner next to the other guy who's groping the girl <laughs> the Street Fighter. Why you gotta be groping a girl? Why can't it just be? Man, of, listen, I know you're gonna be groping himself. Why can't? Why can't he just be one of those guys? Why can't it be like the Taiwanese butt sniffer dude that I just know. walks in the bathrooms and just and chases they, people while they're pissing? People, they they <laughs> hire people to smash and smush people into those trains. Somebody's getting their feels off, and it's not on themselves. They wear them white gloves so they don't get the the man dirt on them. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> feel bad for the girls with the dress. I mean, I would if I was a, a, a woman. If, you know, if it was my daughter over there, you wearing like straight pants. All right, like you no no no, no upskirts over here. In any case, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it went to upskirts, it's ladies and gentlemen. Well, Alex, you just got peed on. Yeah, that, I told you. That. <laughs> Yo, f you, man. That forte was like, look at him. He's he's the tenth in the U.S. Chad, ranked ten in the U.S. I, all right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, so uh, PS3 was selling. He he just said that. But before uh, Chad interrupted with that with that breaking news, that groundbreaking news. <laughs> what, what were we talking about? We're, we're talking, talking about, about uh, Pokemon, but, Pokemon uh, and Tomb Raider. Yeah, but now we're going into the Tomb. Raider. Uh, yeah. yeah, the new Tomb Raider. Let me see if I can get some um. I uh, didn't know, yeah. and they are multiplayer gameplay. They are um, showing player. Why? Why would they play? Square Enix, if you guys didn't know, um made a deal with uh, Eidos, and they have been working on, well, they pretty much bought Eidos, and now they own their IPs, uh, hence the Hitman game that came out, and before that, Sleeping Dogs, but um, neither of those games had multiplayer from my understanding, so this is a, I don't want to say risk, because it's a Tomb Raider series, and it's been well, well faded and trying to be uh, resurrected, but it looks like this might be uh a hope win. of faith. I'm calling a, a, I mean, a leap of faith for them for this franchise. Um, how do you guys feel about it? I I cannot wait for this Tomb Raider game, man. I oh my goodness, I'm waiting for the beta yeah, or something. Hyped. And I am extremely hyped, especially since how uh, it reminds me of the uh, Uncharted. Yeah, exactly. Right. I knew I was gonna say it. And they remind me of the Uncharted, and we all know how the multiplayer on that is 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 pretty solid. Um, I am hoping that it is more of that sort of gameplay. Um, they're going to have r uh, realistic animations, obviously. Um, the animation, all the animations if you, uh, that you've seen, or most of the animations that you've seen on the uh, the trailers of Tomb Raider, if you watch any trailers, they're going to be uh, adding that to the multiplayer, but they're going to be sped up. Um, <clears throat> I heard that, like, uh, I mean, let me link this to you guys so you can see it. The on multiplayer, they're going to have, like, bow and arrows and stuff like that, and when you get shot with a bow and arrow, like arrow to the knee, <laughs> you will go down, you will go down, and you'll be crawling, but you'll still be alive. Now, I mean, the only time we've ever been in that state of crisis in a multiplayer game, I, the only thing I can think of is bleeding out on, on Gears of War. Now, Chad, you see that fucking rushdown I did on that, Seth? Bla uh, Should I rewind it for you? Alex, Alex, I need you. I'm sorry. So bleeding out on Gears of War is the only thing I can think. Down but not of, out. Yeah. Down of not down but not out type of things or last stand in Call of Duty. But I, uh, oh. so yeah, it, it, it's looking like it's going to be more and more realistic. Um, and I'm extremely excited about it because I haven't seen a multiplayer game like that. Uh, Since Uncharted. Yet. Yeah, but Uncharted, even Uncharted like, is not like it's yeah, realistic animations, yeah. but like, come on, this is like real. Yeah, it makes you feel that you're it's a it's a surreal experience that you're actually uh hunting or hunted in a multiplayer environment. Yeah. Oh and Daisy. Daisy's the same way. You get shot or you break your legs, you're going down and you gotta like bandage right. up. Daisy that's Daisy is that's 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 another beast. We don't oof. Yeah. So I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not of course not like Day Z, but like you know, it's it's gonna be like quick and realistic like that. I, I am excited for those 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 sorts of games. So right. <clears throat> Trevor, being being the uh the 
the single player person you are, how do you feel about the new Tomb Raider? I haven't been interested in a Tomb Raider game since I played it on the PlayStation 1. Gotcha. <laughs> Ouch. You know what's funny? I've never played a Tomb Raider game. What? You never played a Tomb Raider game, yet you're interested in a Tomb Raider game. You never game. fought yeah, yeah, the exactly. Raptors in Part 2 I, I, exactly. and the T-Rex climbing I up the wall? I watched my friends play, and I was like, this is a good concept. This is a cool character and everything. I see what she does. You know, she raids tombs, obviously, and it's sick, right? The controls, I hated. I, Indiana I tried Jones with a vagina. I, I cannot stand. I cannot stand the controls. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like it. But the. But the. The gameplay itself. I see what they were trying to do, and it was cool. Now that they're rebooting it, like Devil May Cry, but this one actually seems. You know, a lot of people are actually. You know, they have a, a crazy eye on it. It. It looks like something I can get into, especially since I'm the type of player who or gamer who likes to play a wide variety of different games. Um, this is just another one. Like, say, uh, another example would be Splinter Cell. I haven't really dabbled in the Splinter Cell. I think I beat the first one, but this new blacklist that's coming out looks really crazy. But um, that's another story. So yeah, no, I, I'm excited for Tomb Raider. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen gameplay of it, but well, this is what like the fourth or fifth time that they've said that they're rebooting it. Rebooting, yep. Mm-hmm. What so, Tomb Raider? Yeah. After I really haven't been following. We, yeah, we yeah. saw I, it. We saw the it. The third like, time, I was oh like, ah, you're not rebooting it. You're just not doing it well. Yeah. Oh. If you look at um, Tomb Raider Legend and uh, whatever one was the pre oh, I forgot which one, where she was supposed to be like dead and there was a prequel to it. I forgot it. But yeah, all the other Tomb Raiders, they said, you know, it was going to be it. So Square Enix owns it. They didn't fail with Sleeping Dogs and they didn't fail with Hitman. So I don't know. I'm going to go on their track record with their with the ones that they have currently. Yeah, I can't, oh, Tomb Raider? I can't wait. No, with just the Square Enix uh, Eidos buyouts and what they've been doing with uh, with those IPs. I just don't see what they can do to make it interesting again. With Tomb Raider? Yeah. Because they're going to they're make it like... It's when the original cool came out, it was interesting because it was something that was new. And since then, they really haven't done anything to stand out. And that's why they keep rebooting it, because they keep doing the same thing. Yeah. It stand out, so nobody wants it, because it's not new. Yeah, I got you. Um, but I, I think they're really gonna take some uh, take a lot of uh, elements from Uncharted, and um, this would, if anything, it would excite the 360 fans who wanted to play Uncharted but couldn't, and now they're gonna be able to play a game with some sort of element towards that game. Um, <clears throat> I have a video here. I'm trying to I'm trying to find uh, a spot where it would have the multiplayer and everything. But no, I, um, I don't know. I mean, it takes. It takes a lot for me to really say like, oh, you know, this game. I'm not. I'm not truly interested in it. I, I like to. Ever since I like went to school, and like saw some, you know, how how games are, you know, how they're how they're made and like the hardships that people that the that the game developers go through. I want to like give each game the benefit of the doubt and like not say like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it because it doesn't look that that appeasing. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a chance. Then I'll bash it once I play it. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, it but, and everybody says that it's different than what the the other ones have been trying to do. Then yeah, yeah. check it out. This is, but I mean, right, I've already go. I've already played Uncharted two. I've already played Uncharted three. If they're okay. just trying to make it feel like Uncharted, then I've already played that. So why right. are theirs? What I'm seeing right now, which is really hot, that I forgot to tell you, um, this guy took a all right, not even an arrow in the knee. He took the arrow to the chest. Now, if you've seen any medieval type of movie or game or anything, well, not game, well, movie, especially Lord of the Rings, when dudes take arrows to the chest, they're going down. <laughs> you're going down. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and you can still shoot. I'm watching him shoot right now. The, 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 the length of gameplay isn't too long for me to, to, to post it, but um, I'm, I'm going to post a video. Just skim through. You'll, you'll catch it. Uh, the guy went down. He could still shoot and everything. But another thing that's really sick is that players can set traps. I think Devon, I think Devon just heard that. Players can set cha- uh, traps anywhere on the map. And if you step on a trap, you're going to like, it's going to, it's going to, I don't know what the name of that trap is where you, you know, it's a, it's a rope that, you know, you get caught on your leg and snare. then you snare. That's right. So this guy got caught in a snare trap and he's, he's actually upside down. So now your, contr- your, your, your vision is upside down and now you have to like shoot at whoever's there. Cause you know, there's going to be campers. They're going to sit near their trap and wait for somebody to get caught. Uh, you're gonna have to shoot the guy upside down, or you can like shoot the uh, the snare itself to get you down real quick. And I think that's that's really cool that you can um, put set up traps. Who what what game has traps in this in a third person shooter? 
competitive. Daisy. Com- that's, that's crazy. Is there a team deathmatch on there? No, but I can right, put a I'm bear saying. trap down in front of a in front of a, a doorway. You step on it, your leg breaks, and I come back over and shoot you in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but this is a uh, you're making it sound way cooler than it is. This is a this is not an open world like multiplayer game. This is this is a like you know team deathmatch like maps, map packs, Call of Duty, Uncharted type of multiplayer with traps, and it, it looks it looks pretty sick. Yeah, I mean if they're if they're doing something interesting and it and they execute well, then yeah, it's something that that's worth looking into. Yeah. But I just on the the previous Tomb Raiders, I I can't get behind it yet. Yeah, no, no, I I, I feel you. I feel I feel you on that. Like I agree one hundred percent. Um, this is this is why I wanted to do one of the projects that I'm working on right now to give people a sense of uh, how a game works. Uh, without actually playing it, because, you know, we can say, well, oh, we'll go to Gamefly, or, oh, buy it pre-owned, and then bring it back within seven days. Put your dick in Redbox. Or you can, <laughs> you can, you can, you know, rent it from Redbox. Well, yeah, one of the projects I was doing, like I said before, with the, uh, with the streaming, you know, people can view and watch, and if they want, they want us to do anything on there, you know, like play with a certain character, or do different things in multiplayer, they get to control the characters vicariously through us, and give us, give you guys that, uh, that sort of experience. So with that being said, Trevor, yes, follow us on PB. <laughs> oh my God, no, we are not doing promotions right now. All right, you did at the end. Uh, Trevor, but, Un- Uncharted. I mean, not Uncharted. Tr- Tomb Raider is a game I'm going to be wanting. To, um, I'm going to play. I'm going to try to get it the day it comes out, so uh, people can get can get a uh, sense of how it works and everything. So yeah. All right, from for, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap the Tomb Raider discussion up. All right, the Pokemon Tomb Raider. Pokemon scale from <laughs> one to ten. How interested are you guys in in these games? Uh, Diego, you're first. Pokemon. Pokemon will be like a seven, and uh, Tomb Raider will be like an eight. All right, Trevor. Three and a one. Right. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Trevor's, Trevor's harsh uh, rating, though. I do like that. Uh, Tomb Raider, a seven until I get to play. Uh, and Pokemon, Pokemon, um, comparing to X and Y versus all the other ones, I'm gonna give that an an eight. Dad, how do you? Your Pokemon and Tomb Raider? Uh, I'm going to give Pokemon a 7 because for a while I've been wanting to, you know, get back into at least one Pokemon game. I haven't played Pokemon since Diamond and Pearl. Um, as far as Tomb Raider, I'm going to give that a 6. I have to go with Chad, a 6 on that one. Chad, are you going to catch all 2,500 Pokemon? What happened? <laughs> are you going to catch all 2,500 Pokemon? Heck yeah. 1,000? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like 700 right 700, now. yeah, they're, they're reaching 700. They're at 700? Yeah, that's why I'm not oh, interested. That's another thing I was going to say. No, Trevor, that's, yeah, I'm not interested until they drop a Pokemon game that has every single Pokemon in there. I'm not trying to trade with no stranger. I'm not trying to trade with friends. <laughs> what? Wizards, I want Wizards of danger. the Coast? You can just I want to the Pokemon, Pokemon Snap 2. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what I want. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Snap, Snap 2. I don't even care if I don't know any of the Pokemon in it. Listen. Pokemon, Pokemon Snap 2 Snap with the altered reality mod where I can go outside, look at this ugly chick, and just say, chick, I just yeah. caught me a like, Snorlax. Mo- that's exactly <laughs> what I want. Pokemon, do something different. Don't make, gotta catch them all, number seven. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That will get me interested in the series again. I'm gonna go take a picture of a tree and but call it a pseudo But not seven anymore, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, alternate reality Pokemon will be the most extreme social exploration game ever. A lot of people don't like games where you have to, you know, oh man, Nintendo. I love this game, but I don't like when you collect. Oh, uh, there's like a side mission to do a bunch of collectibles. Well, the main, the main purpose of this game is like to collect. Nintendo will hire me. We are going on adventures. Go to New York City, get hit by cars while taking pictures of alter reality <laughs> shit. I, this will be like the best Pokemon game ever. The I get to see Alex in the middle of the street. Street, off, yeah. Off, holding his phone, facing the ground, like petting the air. Like, <laughs> and the taxi driver just honking the shit. And he's like, like what? You don't see this rare article? And then dog? Alex chewing the po- like the invisible monster. You'll see me him off the street. You'll see, you'll see me actually do a motion of throwing a Pokeball after I push the A button. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> Like, I will catch this thing in the wild in front of this truck before I die. It's so dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's man. so awesome. Yeah, I Yo, think that, that would be like freeze. Biggest... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Demi said, Teron knows I'm a sucker for strong female leads. With that being said, with that being said, on the Wii U, real quick, real quick, real quick, side, 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 side note. shit out of me. Sorry. Bayonetta 2. 
is only on the Wii U. And I want to play Bayonetta 2, but I am not buying a Wii U. So Demi, look into Bayonetta 2, because as a strong female lead, just like you like, uh, pretty much I just want to play the game, and I know you're going to buy it. So, yeah. All right, you can go ahead, Alex. All right, yeah. So that, <laughs> <laughs> that scared me, and that wrapped up the Pokemon Tomb Raider, uh, you know, gaming news and gaming updates. But um, That one is going in on you, by the way. Go yeah, ahead. Okay. All right. You guys didn't say nothing when I was running down <laughs> on people. But when I get when I start getting the pressure, and I take the pressure very well, no homo. <laughs> like, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is, Alex. You 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 press buttons after you roll. Okay, go ahead. Now I'll talk to you about it later. I'll put I'll put my uh, button stuff up there. I'm pretty actually calm on buttons. It's just when stuff's going on, and I got nothing to do. Yeah. A lot of buttons. All right. Off of that, back to what we're talking about. Um, just like we we're saying, CES definitely is a big deal. A lot of I don't, I don't even want to call them console. Casual entertainment devices. <laughs> I love that. Casual entertainment device. CEDs. <laughs> CEDs. 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 No, CEDs. Stop it. Casual <laughs> entertainment devices are being were being introduced um, at CES. Um, I want to start first by the NVIDIA Shield. Brought, like, Demi, once you posted that, I became a... Uh, also, I became a fanboy of it. And Steambox... Piston, all this I was it I slash three I forgot the company that, that made yeah, these boxes. Nice casual. Yeah. Steam box is not when it's five hundred and a thousand dollars it's not casual. But, but oh. I'm calling it I'm only calling it I'm only calling it casual because the people that will probably own it won't even know that it has more potential than it actually does. It seems like if you were a hipster again going back to this this is like the hipster box you need in your household. No, the Steam box is definitely the hardest of hardcore. You can hook up eight TVs with that. Yeah, you can. But that's hardcore. But just saying that, <laughs> just say, just saying this with these CEDs, do you guys feel that that the consoles, the big three, are are definitely pressed right now? Do you guys think that their backs are on the wall? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, wait, Sony, generation. Microsoft, and, and Nintendo. Yeah, the big three. CEDs. No. Are, are... No. Heck what? no. What? Every this is this is like they're not it they're not as they're not they don't have as much influence as as like Blizzard does with MMOs but like it's it's not a, it's not that extreme but when something comes out oh my god they it, they they they're out out the gate they're like in deep water that like you can't come out the gate safe like how how Sony and and Microsoft did they came out the gate safe because they were already an enterprise Microsoft like or didn't come out safe. Microsoft was on sitting on billions before they came out with the Xbox. That's what I'm talking about. Xbox was okay. We're not going to talk about that. But what? the the history of the Xbox is uh, the Xbox was the biggest risk Microsoft ever took. Okay, I didn't know that. My bad. So when, anyway, I feel as though these other companies aren't. They're they're like in in deeper water. The, the uh, problem the problem right now is that all of these um, there's what three that are supposed to be indie, and then the Steam box, which is just Steam. Steam yeah. Steam, the Steam box is too expensive for it to be real competition with the Xbox. It's it's for the hardcore PC gamers. Mm -hmm. The other three are all indie devices, so you're not going to be getting the big AAA games that are on there. You're going to be getting indie titles, which means the other three are competing with each other. They're not competing with the big three. Yeah. Ooh, so Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo aren't worried because they didn't get any new competition except for each other. Fair enough. I feel, this is me personally, <laughs> Shit's about to go down because these CEDs are about to take over everybody's household. Um, well, Gabe, nah. Newell, Gabe Newell talked about having three tiers, um, and right now we really only have one tier of home consoles. It's Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. Like those are those. We have one level of consoles, and what Steam is doing is taking that one level and going like above that, and having that console that's like better than all of those and can do more and produce more and have better quality and a better range. And then the other three are below that, with, which you can see that in, in not just pricing for the console itself, but pricing for games and length of games and that kind of stuff. So there's gonna, now going to be like a three-tier market where most of us are going to get at least two of those tiers, if not multiple consoles in each tier. Whereas now, since the... Since the division of hardcore and casual, that market has, like, the home console has just been coming towards this. But it feels like it's coming towards, you know, uh, in the 80s where there was, like, a shit ton of consoles, there were, like, 10 of them? 
feels like we're heading towards that again with all these new consoles that are coming out in the future. Yeah. All right. To with the E Honda? Oh, I was about to say. Consoles. Well, um, th- well, with that being said, right? Say, uh, say, for example, or theoretically speaking, hypothetically speaking, uh, say. <laughs> oh my goodness, sir! <laughs> just, just say it. I'm say laughing something. because I said that. I'm laughing <laughs> because I said that like three. three oh my times. goodness! <laughs> if the Xbox tanked, right? What what system would you go to? Which system Current? would you jump on? What Nintendo? It, what do you mean by tank? PlayStation. Like. You would go to PlayStation if 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 your main system tanked, like if it didn't do well, like it went bankrupt, or like it just it's going to be discontinued, like Dreamcast. You know what I'm saying? What, what system would you jump to, Trevor? Uh, PlayStation. You would jump to PlayStation. I have I have both the Xbox and the PlayStation, and if one of the two, like if the next generation of Sony and Xbox consoles comes out like next year, right? I'm probably going for my for Xbox first because I have more games in that section. But if that tanks. Then I'm just moving over to Sony because they're direct competition with each other. Okay. Same, okay. The same like, like if it's on Xbox, it's usually on PlayStation. So Alex, you'll, yeah, exactly. Uh, I agree. Um, oh, Alex, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm going straight to the I'm, PS3 I'm or there. I'm going to stand on my PC. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't go to the Wii U? Yeah, I'll get the Wii U, but that's just because it's casual. I don't count that as a hardcore. That's not going to be my bread and butter. Well, I mean, they want to make it hardcore <laughs> now because you have Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I and, am not yeah, taking Persona. it as my bread and butter. Okay, you wouldn't make it as your bread and butter. You would, you, you would go to the PS3 or but Vita I, or PC. Yes, those, those are my, those are my, uh, those are bread my and full, butter. No, those are do, my full. Do full any of you meals. have the Wii U? Uh, I want to get up Demi, I or, or want Demi to get has, it. Demi has I want to get, it, I wanna get it, but I'm not paying three, three. Diego, do you consider that your your console of choice? Uh. <laughs> not really. I want to go to it for like any new Metroid or a Zelda, but yeah, no, and my Nintendo my, game. Yeah, but like, if any, if it comes out on all three systems, which is <laughs> preferred? <to play? laughs> which system I will get it for? It will depend like what features will have it. I only go towards like the most like feature packed version. On on average, if on it was average, like, the same most, game on every system, which which one would you most likely go for? I would just have to say PlayStation. PS3. See, yeah. I don't, I don't know anybody that considers the Wii their console of choice, even though that's their market. No one does. Yeah. Right. Chad, how about you? Uh, no, the Wii will always be casual to me. No, I'm saying. Oh my goodness. I'm saying, what, what, uh, what, what system? What, what's your, your main system? What's your main system right now? Like that you play on your main system? Uh, PS3 and Xbox. Okay, if if the so I guess you'll be in the same boat as Trevor. You'll do the same decision. Yeah, if, one and even if if one. both of them tanked, I would get like a better computer and go to PC. You yeah. get a better computer. Yes, I th- think I would do the same because uh, PC. PC Master Race porting in. But that, that <laughs> both of them tanking, that's not gonna happen. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't happen because um, all all of the new consoles that are coming out, none of them are on the same price range and game quality. As Xbox and PlayStation. What do you think it will like? You know how all right. You know how it started off with the the Atari and then um, the next gen. What was it? Was it then it was like Nintendo and Sega. Yeah. Um, then the Sega dropped drop ship, and then like Nintendo was about to just dominate like home consoles. Then all of a sudden, Sony came out of nowhere and and got the PS One. I hated Sony back then because it just came out of nowhere, and I was a, I was a Nintendo fanboy. Then the Xbox came out and magically. Their saving grace was Halo. PlayStation and, 2. And, you forgot the PlayStation 2. No, I'm talking about like companies coming in the, oh, to the gaming oh, okay. industry. Right. Uh, then the Xbox came out, uh, and and they they started their legacy. Uh, wh- how long do you think you? How long do you guys think it will take until the next thing comes out that's just like, it'll yo, be like next like big four? Yeah, no, like so, the next the next the next company to come in. Like how long do you yeah. think an, another company will come in that will actually be a threat to these big three? It will be like whenever the Steam box comes out and it's like uh, competitively priced. That's when it will be like not big three. It'll be like the big four. But until then, I don't see any other company coming out and be like, "Oh, here's a console. We're gonna sell it at this price point and it's gonna have like these amazing graphics." The only other company I see that doing that is uh, Valve. I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I wanted to guess a year. 
I think 2016, 17 is when we're going to see a new company comes in that's that's like out for blood. And it's 16, like, 17, <laughs> one year. No, like uh, <laughs> and then, and then, uh <laughs> like that, yeah. that but, year, that area. Three, three years there. That six. I don't, I don't see it in this or the next console generation. It would have to be two generations. So it was at 2020. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, probably yeah. somewhere around there. Somewhere, yeah. If I that. I'm gonna be old. I mean, we don't talk about it. <laughs> in my day, man, Halo, Call of Duty was the best shooter ever. And I'm like, what's Granddad? What's 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 Call of Duty? What is that? Grandpa, you sh- you do in your pants again. Stop talking about them games. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't no, mind him. He, he on this prescription. He ain't take it. <laughs> oh God! Instead of Call of Duty, I'm a Google it. Grandpa, don't even exist. Don't Google it. <laughs> Oh, oh man, what's, what's the grandpa? What's Google? That's what they're gonna say. Oh my what gosh! But in any case, uh, all right. So, yep. all right. Get into uh, our get into our closing. Get into our closing statements. Um, this was uh, big news to me because I didn't understand how it happened or how Nintendo <laughs> does it. It's like, where did you find? How, how did you find out that we used so that much? Uh, this, this dude is randomly going on checking market prices of these systems in their cells, <laughs> and. I followed up and read it, and I'm like, it, this is this happened. <laughs> so, um, if you guys don't know, the Wii U system has sold 890,000. How? It sold 890,000 units in the United States. We didn't even talk about Japan. We didn't even talk about Europe. How? How the hell did they? What the? How did that happen? Um, I'm not sure. I actually didn't even read the article. I just saw the title, and I was so, like, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about this. So. We we brought this up. It was like hinted while we were talking about the big three. Most of us will not own this system except for the gimmicky Nintendo games that will come out. Who bought this <laughs> system when none of these corny gimmicky Nintendo games have come out? I, I I don't know. I mean, okay, I won't call them corny gimmicky. I'm talking about the hardcore Nintendo titles. Who has what? Only game that's come out is the Super Mario Brothers, and that that is not even that is, they BS that game. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably from the strong Wii name that's like, oh shit, it's what? gotta be awesome. Maybe I don't know. I'm just no, no, no. I'm, I'm, here. I'm, I'm reading how the Wii U hardware sales have generated over 300 million to date, 30 million more than the Wii had generated at the point of its life cycle. Dang. How is that? Po- who is what, buying wanna, it? The thing, wanna, the thing that I want to know is how many copies of like Batman sold and how many <laughs> copies of Assassin's Creed like yeah, I want to know these, let's, let's figure this out I want titles that they're trying to push to us to get us to buy those consoles how well are they selling and how well is like me you together in space selling like, <laughs> I know what you're talking about I, I, they, you, guys, they, you, was, guys, you guys are interested in the Batman armor like what? what is this <laughs> they have the Game of the Year edition on PS3 and Xbox. Who getting? Why wants the armored edition? You want to get that armor though? You gotta get the armor <laughs> to do the no. special stuff. Man, as long as I have if Robin, I kill, if I kill Mr. Freeze, I get the Freeze armor gauntlet, and and I can blow up walls that are little really? cracked. Yo, <laughs> listen, it sounds like Zelda. Yo, as long as I have Robin, Nightwing, and Catwoman, I get to play that that Harley Quinn extra extra story content. Man, I'm good, and that's exactly what the Game of the Year edition comes with. Now, with that being said, New Super Mario Brothers U, a Wii U launch title, and one of its main offerings has sold by itself 580 thousand units. They didn't show any other games, Trevor. I'm still looking. Worldwide. Uh, it is that it is it just ended with a period. I, I guess it's worldwide, which is uh, is that's not too good, is it? No. Not if they good. sold eight hundred ninety thousand in just America, and they sold less than that worldwide, that's awful. Well, wait, no, five hundred eighty. The Wii U just came out though. It just came out in like November, didn't it? Yeah. Five hundred eighty thousand units already on one, one game. That's really good. You have to sell a million yeah, units. Yeah, but that's for- that's their that's their like that's their core game. Oh, uh, true. That's yeah. like every yeah. Wii U should have this game. Yeah, so if, yeah. if less than a third of the consoles that they're selling has this game, that then what does it say about the games that not every console are going to have? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Well, that's that's the one game that both casual and hardcore will buy. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. It's the universal game of the So of the that doesn't sound well for hardcore, actual hardcore games. Yeah. 
Oh, but and then... If that's just America, then that's better. It's yeah. still not great. It's, like, what, 60%? On, yeah, I guess so. On um, Black Friday, <laughs> Old Navy was was giving away the, that game, New Super Mario Brothers. You oh, yeah. spend like over forty dollars. Yep. Yeah, get, like, you get the game for the free. First for forty people. We got mad trade ins, man. It was crazy. So many trade ins. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe shoppers. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are definitely reaching the ten minute. Oh, we just hit ten o'clock. Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just hit the ten o'clock marker, and I went to um see if any of the the viewers had anything that you know CS brought that they were super interested in and we can just throw out there and um stuff like that and then we can do our shameless promotions that Tehran wants to put in while while the, nah. the show's going on I was it was just a joke I, I wasn't oh. really Demi right. though uh the Zomb- Zombie U is pretty cool but for some reason Game Informer gave it a 5 out of 10 that's pretty crazy I don't know why they yeah, did Game Informer it. sucks yeah, that's what I, I don't know Game Informer is I, bought out it's yeah. getting it's they're so corrupt yeah, it's getting to the point where numbers to rate to review a game is just not not gonna cut it. Like, no, you can't just you can't do that because games that got ten out of tens, not everybody wants to play. Now, if you if you a hardcore Call of Duty or or Madden player, you just play Madden and then you you're looking for something brand new, and then Far Cry Three gets a ten out of ten, but you don't like open world games and you don't you don't really like to read, but it's a ten out of ten game. That's not a game for you. Doesn't mean you should buy it because everybody else says it's good. It all depends on what you play and what you like to what you like to dabble in. So, games being rated number wise is just this bullshit. Sorry, I cursed <laughs> no, one time on no, this. Stream. It's fine. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing. But um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't know if you guys read that article about uh the indie developer. It was on Gamma Sutra. The indie developer who who found the hard way that you have to pay for ratings. Because he created three apps and he wanted them to get reviewed on a, on a couple of popular uh, computer uh, app magazines, and he was told he had to actually put out money so that the reviewer can go through this pile of lists of games and read it and play his game. And depending on how much money he sent in, depended on you know that rating. Damn. So that being said, I do not really believe any uh, credible. <laughs> game magazine not throwing any names out but there's only really one big one and every time they give call of duty a, a perfect score so really no they don't give it a perfect score they, they give it an 8, 8, 8, 8. 8.5 out of no, 10 they, they give it a 9 something but that oh being said God. that being said i don't the credibility of a lot of reviewers uh magazines are definitely going out the window for me as as a consumer i wouldn't say game informers speaking the truth on those reviews Definitely look at gameplay. I mean, YouTube YouTube puts it out there for you, so that's a, that, that's a better way of uh, getting everything set up. Yeah, that's um that's definitely BS. That like these games, these recycled games that come out every year, gets those high ratings because they have actually did a segment on some of the uh, in some of the magazines where like they re-reviewed Zelda: Ocarina of Time and 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 Perfect Dark and all that for the 64. The grading, then they showed the rating that it got when it came out, and they they compared it with like the specs and stuff and the require and the you know the the uh the you know how it would stack up today in the present day and then like it got like a couple gr- like letter or numbers sh- shorter than what it usually got because of like how dated it was like and stuff like that so if you're going to review your games because and and give it lower a lower score because it was older or and then we've we've seen the same recycled stuff then call of duty should get like a 2 out of 10 every year but that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles and <laughs> the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I hate the fact that as a consumer, we don't actually have that power. That I feel that we should eventually we'll get it back. Uh, that's, why be, that's why we're here. That's there'll be a revolution. Um, real quick to go out. Uh, Chad and Tehran, did you guys want to talk about the, the the stuff that you were doing, or are we going to say that for another time? Um, <clears throat> Chad, you want to say something? Chad hasn't spoken in a while. Yeah, Chad's, oh, I'm yeah. trying to. I'm getting pissed because this. This little big plan thing is just. All right, Chad. Chad has, Chad has been. Chad's not here right now. Chad is not here. If you want to uh, leave a message, please press one. Uh, what I was gonna so, say was um, last last time on the Ranting Gamers was this episode. This is three, so episode two. We were ta- I was talking about how I was excited about my stream equipment. I had just, I got it, but I didn't set it up. Well, now it is up 100. percent We are working out some kinks, but on the most part, uh, it's looking looking it's looking pretty well. 
looking pretty good. Uh, you can check me out at PB Recreation or PB Solo Bear, PB Chad Viper. Uh, it's hosted by me and Chad Tehran and Chad. Um, just check us out. We already have some viewers over here. Bandicoot one one two. I'm looking at you. And That's Thebes eighty seven. Oh, Let no. me make an extra comment. Um, what you've been mute this whole time, <laughs> <laughs> Alex. What, Dad? <laughs> we will. Uh, we will have a YouTube and Facebook uh, page up very shortly for PB Recreation. Um, stay tuned. We will be posting Twitter links to follow us with our most recent updates. We have a full website coming very shortly as well so stay tuned for some great original content that's not game informer or ign yeah oh, he just took it he just took a, a jab <laughs> all out those people all IGN just... up. Mm -hmm. definitely was all right uh trevor diego do you guys have any uh selfless promotions that you guys have to put out or you guys are good we're good yeah good dope um i'm a. I i think i'm a partner with uh PB Recreations for some of my content, guys. So, are yes. So, uh, definitely we look out for those for different kind of projects that we'll be doing. And uh, thank you, everybody. Hey, right, Doug. Captain Crunch has entered the building. Oh. Glad to give a big shout out. Um, Apex fighting game uh, tournaments going on this weekend. I would like to say good luck to everybody participating. I will try to get there as soon as possible if I can. Um, I don't know. There's no other big competitions going on this weekend, but um, yeah. Yeah, Apex 2013 is supposed to be big. It's the biggest Smash Brothers uh, tournament in the U.S. So, and it's here in New Jersey. So I'm kind of excited to go see this old game get, you know, put through its paces by these professional gamers. Mm. What else is there? Pax yeah. East. Oh my goodness! Yes. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, viewers, if you guys don't know, Penny Arcade Expo 2013 is going down uh, in March. The 20 was it 1st to 24th? I'm pretty sure it's the 22nd or 24th. 21st, yeah. we usually leave early. Remember? Yeah, 21st is when I got my days off and I'll be hitting the road with my my fellow my fellow gamers this this yearly this yearly uh ritual now. But um if you guys are in the Boston area, definitely uh tell us. Up. I mean, throughout the streams going on until then, we'll be talking about stuff, but Definitely, definitely tell us if you're out there so we can uh, talk games and meet up and and people watch and game room hop in and, and line sit downs and swag grab and all that other great stuff that happens at PAX. Just make sure you make sure you bring a hand sanitizer because it gets nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it gets nasty. And remember to take a shower because I remember to take. Oh my gosh! Can I stress that enough, man? That nerd sweat crazy at them man. conventions. I know. I know you got to sit in the smell. lab. It's the best smell I've ever had. I know. That nerd sweat. I know uh, you have to sit in the labs and get your combos down in Street Fighter. I know you want to be in training mode and you want to be the best. And I know you sit there and do speed runs and you do all types of stuff and you execute. You have to have your execution 100%, but you also have to have your hygiene at 100% as well. Please take the shower, bring your cologne. Bring, colognes don't count as showers. Showers, colognes <laughs> don't. Don't 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 get them misconstrued. Yeah, don't get confused. The the the. The the shower you got to take your showers when you take your showers and then 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 you put on the cologne and then you deal with and all that please right. save save our noses but yeah it's definitely for um all the viewers and just PAX East goers definitely let us know if you're in the area and um it'll be a pretty good event this will be our third one going into it and uh, I mean if you guys don't know about PAX East I think the Ooh, which ones are still open? The Friday and Sunday passes are the only ones available. Getting a getting a Saturday pass is probably going to cost you uh, a small Pretty Asian penny. child out of China <laughs> uh, right now because those things are really expensive. Um, yeah, the I Friday actually, pass sold out in like a day. Yeah, like is this, you talking, about, talking about Apex? Yeah, no, I'm talking about Pax East. Pax East, yeah. The tickets sold out in 27 Man. hours. It was the same day on. Was where was I? At? Was that at your house, Tron? Was that at, uh, Devon's? I think I was at, at Devon's. House. I, I am was so at Devon's. Mad, man. I went on a rant that day. Yep. Oh so, God. 
I mean, I, I was able to I was able to procure two sets of three day passes, but they have already been sold and given to that person. I went off in sprint when I found out. In, oh my god, I was in I was in the middle of the sprint sales <laughs> floor, and I went crazy when I found out that those things been released earlier than expected, and they were possibly sold out at that time. I was furious. Tehran's new name is the Tyrannical Tantrum Tehran for that one. Oh man, I missed. I'm missing packs this yo last year. This is it. Next yeah, okay. Year, go. Next year, everybody says that. But yeah. <laughs> go. I'm going. Definitely. Next year. Um, everybody, thank you for watching episode three. Uh, if you guys liked it, and if you're a new, um, a new viewer, hit the follow button. Definitely follow. Uh, if you're old, and you're one of my previous viewers, thank you so much for coming back and watching. Um, I'm gonna try to get this show as professional as possible eventually. Um, I'm probably going to put some porn on the screen. That gets a lot of viewers. And that will be really professional. But we'll definitely see. Uh, so, once again, thank you guys for coming in, checking us out. Um, and I would like to say bye. <laughs> bye bye. See you guys. Yeah. All right, Trevor. You can be, you can be mean. You don't got to say bye to everybody. <laughs>